Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a header transition where it changes the color of your header when the user scrolls down your website. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, what we're going to do is grab our header and we're going to make it pretty big for now. Inside the header, what I want to do is add a strip. So we'll go ahead and add this one right here. Now, if you want, you can change the background to a different color. For now, let's go ahead and change this one to black. I also don't want it to be that big. I only really want it to be about 100 pixels. So I'm just gonna bring up the size so it says 100 pixels. Then under layout, I want to add a column just like this. And over here, we're gonna have the logo. And over here, we can have our menu. So what I want to do here is go ahead and come over to our media and we're going to drag out this logo right here. And we're just going to drag it into our header just like this. Then over here on the right column, we're going to want a menu. So let's go ahead and drag one of these out quick and we'll attach it over here. Now for this design, of course, we're going to want the text to actually be visible. So what we're going to do is grab the menu items, go to text, and we can just simply make the text white, just like this. And we'll make it a little bit smaller as well. And if we press manage menu, we can turn the home off because we don't need that on the page. Perfect. So now let's say we have our perfect header. Let's go ahead and copy this. Then we can paste it down below and we can create a brand new design. So we can either change the color or we can even remove the color completely. So maybe for this one, uh, we're going to want to have it be a white background. So we can select on the columns and change the color to white. But now we need to select all of the elements like the menu and the logo and change them real quick. So we can change this one to black. So now we have two different header designs, but now we need them to be at the very top. Now, one thing I will warn you, uh, don't just move this one to the top and then grab this one and move this one to the top because sometimes this header, this strip can be placed inside of this strip. If that happens to you, that can completely mess up the code and make things act wonky or just not work at all. So we are not going to want to accidentally embed any strips into other strips. To prevent this, what we're going to do is have this strip selected We can come over to our toolbar under tools and we can just send this one to the top just like that. That's basically going to prevent anything like that from happening. And once we have that set, we can go ahead and shrink the header back to the normal size. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is grab this little icon here and we can either drag it up manually or we can simply just double click it and it'll automatically snap to its minimum value right up here. Now it is actually time to do some coding. Now for this tutorial, we are just gonna be using the header transition in Wix that I have on our website. Now this is actually all the code that we're really gonna need to use. And what I would say is I would not copy and paste this code over to your website. It just simply won't work, especially since this and this are both event handlers, which are site specific. So I'm gonna show you how to add these event handlers on your own website to make it work. But if we come back over to our website, we can go ahead and go over to dev mode and turn this on. And that's basically gonna give us access to the coding panel down here. And now what I would say here is it's basically time to kind of decide which header we want to show first and which header we want to show second. So if we come over to our tools, open up the layers panel in the header, we'll see column strip three. And if we use the shift and arrow keys, we'll notice that it moves down and we'll know that we have the black strip. So maybe we want that one to appear second. So over here in the properties panel over here, so what I'm gonna do is call this one second header, just like that. And then we'll grab this one right here and we'll call this one first header, fantastic. Now in the coding panel over here, what I'm gonna do is just erase all of this stuff right here. I'm also going to basically hide the second header. So I'm gonna say dollar sign W and I'm gonna grab the second header and I'm gonna say dot hide, just like that. So that way when the website first pops up, the second header will be hidden. But now what I want to do is come down below here 
Then what we're gonna do is actually grab the second section on our page, and we're gonna come down to on viewport enter inside of the properties and events panel down here. So we're gonna go ahead and click this, and we're gonna say add event. Now I'm just gonna delete the comments that come default in these events because we don't need them. But if I switch back over to the code, you'll notice that these are the event handlers that we basically have right here. But all we need to do now is go ahead and show the second header. So what I'm gonna do is grab this little code right here. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it down here into the, the event handler. But instead of hide, we're gonna say show. And then what we're gonna do is paste it in again, but instead of second header, we're gonna say first header. And then if you want it to kind of have like a fade transition inside of this hide parentheses, we can type in fade just like this. So now if we come all the way up to the top of our website and press preview, as soon as we scroll down, our header transitions. However, if we scroll back up, nothing happens. It doesn't transition back. So, so what we're gonna want to do is grab this section right here. We're gonna come down to the event handlers and we're gonna add an on viewport enter event handler again. Now we basically need to do this, but in reverse. So, so what we're gonna do is grab the first header just like this and we're gonna copy and paste the code just like this. And instead of hide, we're gonna say show. And then underneath that, we're gonna grab the second header, paste this here, and instead of show, we're gonna say hide. And then last but not least, what we're gonna do is place in a fade right here as well. So if we come back up to the top and we press preview, as soon as we scroll, the header transitions to the black version. And then as soon as we scroll back up, it transitions. Now this code right here, and we don't really need this on ready function, um, but we added this code here on the home page. So if you want this to work on the other pages, you just need to follow the same steps. Now, typically what I would do is have maybe a really cool header transition on the home page and then let the other pages be just a normal header like this. However, if you really want this header transition to be on all of your pages or just additional pages for those other pages, like let's say the about page, we're basically going to have to add that same code that we added to the home page here as well. For example, if we delete all of the code in here, we can grab this second strip right here. We can come down to on viewport enter and add this here. Of course, we can erase all of the default comments. We can just grab the first header and say dot show and add a fade. Then we can grab the section above it and we can say on viewport enter. Again, delete all of the comments and we're just going to grab this code right here. And instead of show, we are going to hide. So realistically, this is all you really need. Uh, on the homepage, there is additional code that hides and shows the second header. However, the first header is on top. So you, realistically, all you really need is this code right here for the first header to show and hide it. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.